Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Tom Ford Oud Wood. Um, and I was just going to say I love this fragrance, so it's going to be a positive review, but I am going to get into how it develops on the skin, longevity, projection, and why I think it's so dang good. So if you'd like to know what I think about Tom Ford, a little bit more than me just saying I love it, um, if you want to know what I think about Oud Wood, then keep watching. This fragrance was released in 2007, and believe it or not, guys, this was my first Tom Ford fragrance I had ever smelled. That's right, above any of the others, it was this one. I had gotten a sample, I forget where, I think I'd purchased something and they threw in one of these samples, and I fell in love with it. At the time, I wasn't at a place where I could start collecting fragrances, so I babied that little sample for probably a few weeks. And then as time went on, I acquired more samples and then I decanned and things like that. And I never got around to purchasing a bottle of it until recently, and I really don't know why. Some of those fragrances just kind of slip my mind. But I have had a love affair with this fragrance for about 10 years. Um, so let's get into the notes and then I'll tell you a little bit about how it smells if you guys are unfamiliar with it. The top notes are rosewood, cardamom, and pepper. The heart notes are oud, sandalwood, and vetiver. And the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and amber. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that this was a really great fall scent to wear, and you could wear it in the morning and in the evening, you could wear it to work. And so I said that one of you guys was like, really, oud? And I was like, yeah. The thing with this fragrance is, is that even though it has the oud note in there, there is such a beautiful balance of all the other notes in here. It kind of tones down the oud. You know how sometimes with oud fragrances, oud can just go wild? And those are really beautiful, and I do really love those fragrances. But sometimes you kind of want oud to play nice with the other notes. And in this fragrance, they're all in harmony. Now, on my skin, I get a lot of the amber, a lot of the vetiver, a lot of the oud, and a little bit of the rose, and everything blends together really nicely. It's not too strong of a fragrance, but you still get this really luscious, sexy, woody fragrance that just smells really fantastic on the skin. This is one of the first ouds I'd ever experienced, and I really just fell in love with deep woodsy fragrances and this is definitely one of them that sparked that love affair. So I will say that this is one of the safer ouds out there um, but that doesn't mean that there's anything about that, that anything about this that is not balanced, not beautiful, not mysterious, not woodsy. It's just not a crazy strong oud fragrance. It's more of a well-balanced and blended oud fragrance. When I think of Tom Ford private blends and I think of some of the fragrances he's created that really put that line of fragrances on the map and really sparked people's excitement and admiration. This is one of the fragrances that I think of. Um, and so, without a doubt, one of my favorite private blends from Tom Ford and one of my favorite Tom Fords just in general. Now what I like most about this fragrance is, is it's kind of linear. It doesn't really develop too much on the skin, which is saying something because in the opening it's really beautiful and I always want it to stay like that. And for the most part it does. You do lose a little bit of the sweetness, you do lose a little bit of the rose the longer it's on your skin, but not so much to where it's completely invisible um, closer to the time where the fragrance wears away. So you do get this beautiful, woodsy, sweet, slightly floral, uh, smoky in the background um, a fragrance and smell that pretty much stays on your skin the entire time. Now the longevity of this fragrance is alright. I wouldn't say it's fantastic compared to other oud fragrances. I do get about six to eight hours, but considering other oud fragrances stay on my skin for like 12 to 24 hours, this is one of the underperforming oud fragrances. However, six, uh, six to eight hours is still really really good so it does have nice longevity if I'm comparing it to just other perfumes in general and not to other oud fragrances. The projection of this is nice too it's not really loud it actually is a little bit heavier so it's a little bit closer to the skin but it's not a very oppressive it's more of like a sweet woodsy feeling um, which makes this really pleasant for people around you as well people don't like fragrances. There's nothing about this fragrance, I think, that would bother anybody's nose. It's not like other oud fragrances 
or even some other vetiver fragrances where people just, you know, they kind of freak out because they don't know what they're smelling and they just get turned off even before they really get to experience the fragrance. And a lot of those fragrances I don't recommend for professional environments, but this one actually works really well in the professional environment. It's sexy, mysterious, really beautiful, but it's not so loud that it will bother anybody who's sitting next to you like a cubicle or if you're sitting next to a classmate and they don't like perfume. So I definitely say if you're looking for a really sexy, woodsy oud fragrance to wear to the office, might I recommend oud wood? Oh no, I absolutely am in love with this fragrance. I think it's really beautiful. I think that there's something really uh, mysterious and sexy, but also very familiar about it as well, which makes it really versatile. You can dress it up, dress it down, wear it anywhere. Um, and I think, again, it's one of the fragrances that to me is a shining example of how beautiful the private blend line from Tom Ford can be. So if you haven't checked out Oud Wood from Tom Ford, I highly recommend at least sampling it and trying it out. It is really beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, if you like my fragrance videos and videos like this, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.